Top of the time zone to you. It is Freddie. We're back with round three of the Q School Final at TPC Boston. The last couple of rounds, we finished two under and one under, respectively. And that's going to lead us to... Uh, let me... Uh, let me see if we got to find out real quick. Oh, I, I, I guess I can't look at the leaderboard. Ah, uh, yes, I'm tied through nine. Tied for ninth as Daniel McGuire and Alex Gillespie and Elliot Strauss all at seven under throughout the tournament. Now enough of that. Let's go ahead and get going. Happy Saturday to y'all. Well, it, it's not Saturday, but Happy New Year. There we go, yeah. Uh, it is New Year's Eve when I'm recording this. Sunday, December 31st. But... The tournament, in theory, would be on a Saturday. This is uh, day three. Here are the people you're not going to hear throughout the entire uh, broadcast because I've turned them off. But yeah, let's get underway. Here we are at the first hole. Three hundred and sixty-nine yards. A little bit too fast to start out. This one might be catching the rough. Oh, it might get a little bit turn. Stay on. So close. We almost had it. Had a mediocre performance last time. We're going to try to gain some ground here. It's a little bit better. Not the best. We're going to be up a little bit short. That could be about a 20-foot putt for uh, Birdie. It's actually 12 feet, so that's not bad, but we got to be careful here. Oh, that turned a bit too much. This is going to be for par. Now here we are at the second par 5. 502 yards. Oh, perfect. Headed down the right side of the fairway. There's a little dog leg, so this one's going to end up more on the center. There we go. Now, the last few times we attempted to go for it, this time we're laying up. That might be one of the smartest decisions we've done here in the Q School Final. As much it would be nice to go for Eagle, I think the better choice would be to just take, take the smart play. And at least get... get a shot for birdie oh a perfect what a nice play the freddy flop is back y'all four foot to the pin gets it done because all before we would hit the water and we would be scrambling for par to get it that close was a great call. That would be probably one of the best decisions to make. And now here we are at the par 3, 213 yards. I believe... That's a bit slow. This one's going to be on the right side of the green. Oh, 
Oh, yeah, we're going to be dealing with a hill. This is not what we had in mind. That is still going to be under the hole. Just going to stop. Not what we wanted, but this is eight foot for par. Got it done. We didn't look at the leaderboard to see uh, what did uh, that birdie on the second do for us. We're going to look at that now. That's going to bring us tied for eighth as uh, the leaders did not tee off yet. Matthew Carpenter just teed off. Now here's the short par four. Time to be aggressive. Oh my goodness, that might have had a great kick. Let's see if it stays on the green. It didn't. Gave us a little bit of hope right there. What a stop! That car had some brakes on it. And that's a nice birdie. That's going to move us up a little bit. Daniel McGuire just teed off. Got par. Alex and Elliot still haven't teed off yet. Now here we are at the fifth. Currently five under. It's a great time to move up now. Oh, what a perfect... Three hundred yards and some change on that one. Nicely done. I feel like this one's going to be a slow on accident. No, this one's a fast. This one's going in a bunker, I can tell you right now. Oh, no, it hung on. All right. That's an interesting surprise. Thought it was going to bounce a little bit more like that. But I'm um, glad it didn't. Great recovery. I think we could uh, get that done for par. It's a little left to righter. Nice cleanup. Remains at five under. Well, look at the leaders. Looks like Alex and Elliot teed off. Got a birdie. Daniel McGuire drops the third. We're tied for six now. Here you are at the six. Mm, that's not going to be looking good. That's looking at the left side of the fairway. Flirting with the rough. Into the thick stuff. Absolutely going for it with a five iron. Oh, that might be the right club, actually. That is definitely the right club. This one's going to get... Very close. That's within 10 feet. It has to be. 8 feet. Let's see if this actually breaks. Got it in. What a birdie.
All right. We didn't check the leaders, but we know we're moving up. That's for sure. Tied for fourth now. That's a bit fast. Despite us aiming at the right side, it's moving towards the left of the fairway. Let's see if it stays in play. Stopped so close. Now we're going to go with, for it with the driver. There's nothing really to lose with that shot right there. We didn't get all the way on, but it's an, it's enough. That's way too much room. Let's see if it stops. That is close enough. Tap in for par. Tied for fourth. Two strokes away from the leader, Elliot Strauss, now all alone at eight under. Now here's a par three on the eighth. That's a perfect. Let's see if it ends up like that. Wind's not helping this case, though. It's on the green, but we're not getting any backspin from it. That was more of a safety shot more than anything. This is downhill. Longest putt, 52 feet. Oh my goodness, that's, it was close, but not close enough, that's 10 feet now, we could look at a bogey if we're not careful. Yep, I knew something like that was happen. Our first bogey of the round drops us back. And it's high for fifth. Here you are at the ninth. Making great time. That one seemed extremely forced. And this one's going to pay. All right, a lucky bounce there. Next time. Got to be smarter with that. All right, here we have a nine iron in hand, 151 yards to the next one. It's a bit off to the right, but man, that looks like it's punishing. It's barely on. It's, it's turning left. And that's about it. I don't know if I got a little bit closer from that, but we're still a ways away from the hole. Well, it's only 20 feet, but I'm not taking any chances. This is for birdie. I'm not sure if 20 feet counts as an intermediate putt, but we haven't made any of those lately. We'll take the par, but we really need to get going. As now Daniel and Elliot are now tied at 8-under. Now here we are at the back nine. We're still in the hunt. But we need to start scoring a bit more. But with drives like that, it's going to make it a little bit harder. All right, it's not bad. It's only in the first cut. Oh, 
Oh, that's a solid stroke right there. Let's see if that kicks. Oh, that was more of a safe play more than anything. We're on, but that's a long putt. We're not doing ourselves any favors with these long putts, though. This is 32 feet. This one's looking real good. Man. We've improved for sure, but... We need to nail that in. Now we drop back to 6th. Here you are at the 11th of par 3. That's a perfect, not the way we want it. It's going to stay in the first cut, but we really needed that to be a birdie attempt. And this is not going to be pretty. Good play right there. We'll take the par. Not a lot of energy coming out of the crowd today. A lot of safe plays. We only have the one bogey, but with all these pars, it's not making it easier. Here we are at the 12th. That's going to be on the fairway for the most part, but uh, really pushing our luck here. With an inconsistent golf swing, it's going to be really, really hard to determine what to actually play. That one's a slow, and that one is well about... That has to be like five yards off of what we are aiming at. We're on the fringe. That's puttable, but... Frankly, I don't like this shot. That's hunting real good. That will do. Given the circumstances, anything close... So that way we can tap in for par is good. Meanwhile, the leader's got a bogey. So it's a three-way tie at seven under again. Here we are at the 13th. Again, pushing it to the left. Or pulling it. Not what we need. 148 yards in this next one. Looks like the green sloping left to right here. That one's going more left into the sand, maybe. Oh, no, even worse in the thick stuff. That is looking real good. You could stop, though. Oh, my goodness. Fell for that trap. This one might be a bogey just because of that alone. 18 feet. It's outside our comfort range for sure. This one might go, though. Oh, it goes in. That's probably our longest part of the day. 18 feet to save par. Alex now takes back the lead, going 8-under now. Here we are at the 14th.
Good call to move that one more towards the center. Let's see if it helps while we're at the top of the hill, but I don't think that's going to help us at all. Going with the three hybrid. Let's see if this helps. That is definitely not going to help. All right, so we last left off on the 14th, our third shot. We were in the rough, 50 yards out. Let's try to see if we can make, make do and get a great recovery out of here. That was not what we were looking for. And now this is going to be for bogey. This is going to be our first bogey in a while. I don't think we scored a bogey since, yep, the front nine. Only one bogey on both sides. As we drop back down to four under, four strokes behind Alex. With the lead all by himself. Now here we are at the 15th. Not a lot of holes left. Strokes a little bit off. But we're going to be on the fairway this time. A cool 293 yards out of that. Here's our second shot. I uh, did not put a lot of it. This one's going to be short. See, this is one of the things that we're worried about too much is that we worried about since the first shot was too fast, we uh, try to adjust, and now it's too slow. And uh, it's not going to help us here. So we're going to try to work some magic and try to put this right on the button because I do not want this to be a tough par shot right here that one's very fast that inconsistency right there is going to hurt us especially with this par putt that's online and it just barely misses that's going to hurt another bogey Going back to back, not a great restart. Feels like we're going even par right now. Don't touch me. Now five strokes back and there's a tie at the top again. Here we are at the 16th. We really need to pick it up here. This hole has been giving us issues. And another fast, and this one's way far off. I don't think clubbing up was the right idea, but given the circumstances, if we club down, I think that was a, a smart decision. We're on the green. We have a chance at birdie, but... Pretty much the same chance we would have had if we missed the green into that bunker. And oh my goodness, this is our longest putt yet. No real shot at this. We might as well chip it at this point. But we're going to give it a go. And hope for the best. 72 feet. This is very wide. I don't know if it's going to catch that break. 
Uh, that might be a little bit steep, and it might be a little bit too short. It's picking up a little bit of speed. A very nice read. We're still not done, though. Eight feet, and this one's an ugly turner. Too much. Three bogeys in a row. Not a good look. So now we're one over for the day after that. Could not keep it done. Now Elliot is taken off nine under. Meanwhile, we're tied for 12th at the 17th. This and one more hole left to turn it around. Again, that is fast, but it looks gonna be like it's gonna be safely on the fairway this time. Gonna get a lot of yardage here. pitch this one again another fast but this one looks like it's going to be right there what a shot let's see if it stays all right that looks puttable a little bit of left the right turn here but it's six feet finally a birdie we haven't got a single birdie on the back nine and I did mention earlier about how too many pars were gonna start flirting with bogeys eventually and we did three straight finally moving back up tied inside the top 10 here we are at the 18th one last shot to try to get something going we do not want a slow if we get a slow that's gonna be trouble And one time we got the fast, and we're going to be all right. If we can get 300 yards off of this, this will be perfect. It's rolling to 295, 6, 7. That's a good look. No water in play. We can attack here. This one's another fastball. This one might creep on the green. Maybe not. Might not. It's good. Might fall off the back. Just on the fringe. This is for Eagle. This will definitely give us a big boost going to five over. Sorry, five under. Got to be careful of these breaks, though. This one's going wide to the right. It's not going to stop anytime soon either. Oh. This is an important birdie to go back to four under. Pulled it. Oh my goodness. That's truly unfortunate what happened there. But... Even par for the day. Could not make any ground. Meanwhile, Elliot made it eagle there. Now currently 12 under for the tournament. Something that we're going to have to focus on. Going to have to dial it in. So, with that in mind... We're going to be headed on to the final round for the next episode. Let's see what happens at the Q School Final. I appreciate everybody for coming out. And as always, I'm Freddie J. Y'all have a good day and a better tomorrow. Until next time, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe if you like more of this. We'll see you.